I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be telling you um, how to make a marble race in Algodoo. So each of these videos in this series will consist of making one or maybe two parts of a marble race. Uh, why am I making this video? Well, because I want I want you to learn how to make a marble race, and a marble race is one of the most important one of the m most um, made parts of um, of a uh, in Algodoo. So, um, so anyway, um, I, I'm going to be showing you the most basic way to um, objects to make an Algodoo race, and I'm hoping and I will let you make all of these. Um, I will, um, I I will include all of these objects here. So, for example, a plinko how to start a marble race, the actual marbles, um, an elevator, a bowl, a pump, a sorter, a snake, a bouncy, um, uh, what's it called, a uh, trampoline, and a teleporter, and gravity pad and velocity pads. Okay, so let me show you how to make um, the marbles first, because the marbles are the easiest to make. Okay, so how do you make marbles? Well, first of all, um, okay, so this is how to make marbles, and first of all, the size of the marbles depends. First, choose the circle tool. It's the easiest. And then you're going to make a marble that's around somewhere between 20, 10 and 30 point, point 0.2 to 0.3 meters in diameter. The size matters because, well, um, yeah, I prefer around 0 0.15 meters. So, um, what I do is I take the circle tool and I put about a 0 0.15 meter circle. Um, and as you can see, this is an awesome marble. Um, if it's too, too small, oops, if it's too small, it'll bounce too much. If it's too big, it won't bounce as much. So, the perfect size is around this. Okay, now, this doesn't look like a marble. Um, this is how to fix it to look, make, it, make it look like a marble. Double click it or right click it and you'll get this menu. Um, go to, go to um, appearance and go to draw borders right here and click unclick it. And then go to draw circle cake, click cake and unclick it too. Now you get a plain circle like that. And you know what? I'm gonna also make this um, draw borders. There we go. That looks better. Um, so now we have a marble, right? And now we can play with it. Wee! Ah, come back! One sec, let me just make, there we go. Okay, now how, most most of these marbles have a tracer tool. First of all, let's turn it red um, to make it the first marble, okay? So, and then, and then we can go into here and go to geometry actions and go to attach tracer. Now we have a tracer that follows the marble wherever we go, right? Now, um, this tracer is kind of too far, it's kind of long, so I'm going to set the fade time to, uh, I would prefer around t 20 seconds, point twenty seconds, or else the marble looks really busy. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to make it 10, or something like that. There we go. I uh, yeah, that's point 0.1, I think. Let's see. Yeah, point 0.130 seconds. That's what I prefer. Because it looks really nice. Watch, see? Now what you can do now is let's Ugh, stop moving. Okay. So now let's um now let's move this tracer to the back. But first of all, let's put the diameter to around 70 to 80% of the marble. 
So maybe like that. And then I'm gonna move selected to back. So now you can't see it. It's still there though. Yeah. Okay, so now what we can do, if we wanna make a bunch of marbles, we can copy this and remember to drag instead of just clicking because if you click, it'll just take the, um, it'll just take the marble, not the tracer. So you have to do this. And then you go to here and then you, or you can just hold down command and then do that and you'll get a clone. Okay, and do this as many times as you want to get as many marbles as you want. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Undo. Okay. So I'm going to make this many marbles. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and remember to do that. And then I'm going to change the appearance maybe to that. Oops, I made it spongy. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing with all of them. Oops. Okay, so it seems like I forgot the old tracer, so I have to do that again. There we go. Yep, now all of them have tracers. Okay. I'm just making them come together so they look nice. Okay. So, now let's change this color. Make sure it says two objects here. And then I'm, you can change the color. And I'm gonna do this for everything. Okay, there we go. Now we have a set of marbles, which is awesome. And all of them have tracers. Yay! Okay, so now we have a set of marbles. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make a track. Otherwise, see you at howtodoutheleathen.com, and see you next time. Bye!